so you have a situation going on in your life and the title of that situation is friends with benefits the reason why I'm making this video message is for all of you guys to know if you're in this situation being a friend with the benefit some of you guys are not aware or clear on what a friend with benefit is but it's just two people that have an understanding or an establishment together that they are not in a committed relationship together but they can do things that friends do what they actually do is they have sex with each other every now and then they may go out to eat they may go to dinner they may go to the show uh they may call each other text each other but the whole base and point of the situation is we are not together you are not my man you are not my woman we are not going to be in any kind of exclusive dating or relationship but every now and then i do like to sleep with you i want to tell you guys something that's so true and i don't think you guys see how dangerous being a friend with a benefit it can become sometimes when you go into a situation and you feel you are strong and you tell yourself, I'm not going to allow this or that to take me over. I'm not going to be like this. I'm not going to be like that. It changes. And it changes because how you felt in the beginning is not how you feel once you get in it and you've been doing it for a while. Let me break it down to you exactly what I'm talking about. When you have a situation like this and you're saying, that you have a friend with benefits. What winds up happening is that in the beginning, both parties could say, hey, we're not together. We're not in a relationship. We're just having sex with each other every now and then. And I enjoy your company to a certain extent. But when you go into something like that, more than likely, if not one person, both people will start to get some kind of feelings for each other. One might get jealous because... They see you around another person. One might get jealous or upset because when they call you, you're not answering your phone. They may text you and they're not answering their phone. And then you start to take it personal when in the beginning you already knew what it was. People, let me tell you, don't ever lower yourself or your standards being put on a back burner or don't ever put yourself in a situation where you are being used and taken advantage of. Now, this video message is not for everybody because I got to be realistic. I know that some of you all enjoy situations like this. I'm so sure that many of you actually enjoy having a situation go on in your life where you say, hey, I have a friend with benefits. I don't want this person. Ladies, you may say, I don't want this guy to be my man. I don't want to have a baby with him. I don't want to I don't want him to be my man. I don't want him in my face every day. But, you know, I, I like him to come around. I like having sex with him. Fellas, you may have that attitude, too. I don't want this girl to be my woman. I don't want to marry her, but I like having sex with her. She's a little bit funny. I enjoy her company. She's cool. We friends. But let me explain something to you all. Friends don't have sex with each other. Friends do not have sex with each other. They don't sleep with each other. And the thing about it is, when you come into a situation like this, you may be strong in the beginning. You probably for three, four, five, six months can actually be around somebody and having sex with them or going out with them or you're doing sexual things with them and you really are not attached to them. You don't care about anything when it comes to that person when that situation is over but in time in time just with me knowing that we're humans and we have feelings and emotions one or both parties is gonna start to care or have some type of feelings for each other when you're in a situation like this because it's like this when you are having sex with somebody you are exchanging things spiritually whether you want to accept that, whether you want to believe that or not, you are exchanging something spiritually once you actually lay down with someone. You are. 
whether you all want to accept that or not. And so you can have a mindset and say, hey, I'm going to enter into this situation with a friend with benefits. We're not anything. We're just going to sleep with each other. But some of you all already know how you're built up. You already know where you are emotionally and where you are mentally. And so you've been sleeping with this person for six or eight months. And finally, you call them on the phone and they don't answer your call. It turns into one or two days and you're snapping, you screaming, you hollering, you cussing, you threatening them, ladies, the guy. This is what you're doing to the guy. But, oh, why are you getting upset? Remember, in the beginning, you said you were just a friend with benefits. You didn't want the guy to be your man. You didn't want him to be your husband. You just wanted to have sex with him. But you being an emotional creature, ladies, you started to care about that guy. And you started to want more than what you were getting. And this is why when you open up a door to this kind of situation, it can turn dangerous. I want anybody that's viewing this video message to know something. I want you to be very aware and conscious of what and who you allow in your life. Because certain people you allow in your life, certain decisions that you make and certain things you do can cost you so much. It can even cost you your peace and your joy. That's why I'm making this video message. I'm not coming here trying to reach the masses and change you people around. I don't have the power to do that. Only God can change you and transform you. But what I want to do is send a message to you and inspire each and every one of you that are in these dramatic, discombobulated, confused situations that you know are not bringing you anything positive. I want to make each and every one of you understand that you do not have to live this way. When it comes to the friends with benefits, don't put yourself in that situation because as I stated earlier, you, you can definitely be sleeping with somebody and you're exchanging something with them spiritually. Think about that. If somebody is not trying to date you exclusively and say, hey, this is my man, this is my woman, cut them off. If somebody is not trying to make you their husband and their wife, you need to cut them off. Stop sleeping with these people for free. It's not a game. 